perfect spot for a triadown here. Triadown peacocks, even bicuda, maybe the odd payara. Perfect spot. Let's see if I can pull one out behind these rocks. I'm fishing a lure known as a spook, which can be worked across the surface to imitate an animal or fish in distress. You get some of the most spectacular strikes as these aggressive predators crash at the lure. Wow! <laughs> the question is, what have I hooked? Oh, it's a traida. Great. We have a traida on a spook. Oh, that's another one to the list of predators that hit top water fair. Ugly, ugly fish. Look at that. Come on, open up for Stevie. There you go. You do not want to get your fingers anywhere near these teeth. And look at those gnashes there. That is definitely, definitely out of bounds. Oh, good to show the folks back home. Right, lift them out and give you guys a look at them. Beautiful tail on this fish. Very heavy fish for his length. I would say this fish is about eight pounds. Just because he's, I can feel the weight of him. Solid, solid muscle. But as you can see, these big black ambush predators are just made for the kill. Low slung head, bit like a snake head really. Big fins for the power that it needs to drive this fish through the water. And they can come out of the deep like literally like a rocket and smash any bait fish right into the surface. Okay, I'm gonna put him back. This is so cool. There had to be triada here because we've got a creek bed and then we've got this sort of shallow, rocky, lower stretch down here. And that is pretty typical of these triadae. They tend to hang out near the creek bed entrances, obviously eating any fish or insects that get washed down. And then they stay hiding out in the rocks here, ready to just fly out and hit anything, as you saw on this spook. This is very exciting stuff. And of course, they hit with an explosion that makes the peacock even look fairly wimpy.